Hello, it's Sue Ooh. and Pei, and we are back with another video. What are we doing today? So you came across this video on Twitter. Oh yeah. Some relationship advice from Pineo Ranaka. Mm -hmm. Let's check out this clip first. Mm -hmm. And then you tell me what you think about it. This girl is not marriage material. Yeah, yeah. Because over peace. Yeah. No, she doesn't give you peace. You just know how to control her and manipulate her. Let me tell you why I say that. A person who receives peace is peaceful within themselves. They're very respectful. They're very mindful. So you don't want peace. You want somebody that you can control, somebody that won't ask you questions, somebody that will not hold you accountable. But here's what you get when you get a good helpmate, a good woman. She will challenge your POV. She will challenge your perception. She will challenge your actions. She will hold you accountable to a standard of love that she has set for herself. Now, that is a woman that can give you peace because you receive the inspiration to become a better man. And when you become a better man, you move differently. And automatically, you inspire in her an energy that is an energy of submission. Yes. Which... When she agrees with your alignment and your moves and she understands and respects that and supports that and validates that, she will move with you in synchronicity and not in a different direction. So essentially, if you're a fucked up human being and you're saying, is the one who's going to give you peace. No, she's not giving you peace. She's running away from her own power because an empowered woman is a helpmate and you cannot be a coach without telling your player how fucked up they are. So you have to hear the truth. You have to hear the truth. Yo, that is 100 so that means true, you are narcissistic no, and you are you know, abusive oh, emotionally it's and true. otherwise. <laughs> it's but true. It's a fact. But how many of these women are actually out there? There's yeah. many of us. You just don't know what to do with us. Thoughts? <laughs> this is actually a very funny one. Um, but yeah. truth is, I say yes and no. Right, I'm, 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 I've, I've got a, a very split opinion on this. So, yes, the yes part is it, it is true to a certain extent that a, a lot of men don't like to be held accountable for like the, the actions, right? Um, and they kind of just have this sense where they wish they everything could just be brushed under the carpet all the time and just move on with life, and 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 that's okay. But I feel like that's just a fucked up person. That's not even a man thing. There are women that are like that as well, that do things and just don't want to be told that you are wrong, right? Um, but we, yes, it is true. We do kind of see it a lot in men. And men voice out a lot on how, like, they get very irritated when you, you want to be, you know, holding them accountable. Also, why I say yes, uh, sorry, why I say no is that there's a lot of women as well who don't know how to address things like who, who really just don't have a way of addressing things like you you talk anyhow like and i get that like some people are more like i want to express how i feel the way that i'm feeling at the moment that i'm feeling it and not being always conscious about how the next person will receive that thing as well so i feel you feel like oh this is just me having a strong personality or like you know i'm i'm opinionated or whatever but like yeah a lot of people can be opinionated right but it's like how you deliver something is also very important for me if you take relationship advice from somebody with multiple kids with multiple <laughs> baby daddies who's been divorced yeah. before that's true like you I deserve don't... what you get yeah you deserve what you get this mm. is not good advice at all mm. and mm -hmm. if you take advice like this you really deserve what you get yeah i, I always hate how the the masculine women always have conditional conditional uh Love. submission yes conditional oh, submission. submission you have to be a certain type of yes. way for me to submit i hate that that's mm. nonsense if but, you submit you'll submit nonetheless like yes. if you are a submissive but person let's let's let me let me let me let me let me go back to the initial premise here. Mm. The guy said he wants peace, Indeen. Yes. He absolutely. wants peace. One, 
And notice notice how dismissive yes. she is about what he actually wants. Yes. How dismissive he, she is about And it's about her his feelings. Yes. yes. Notice how dismissive she is. Absolutely. That's why men generally have this advice that they give each other and tell mm. each other this that no. Mm. Do not vent to women. Do not yeah. tell women your problems. Mm. Do not tell women about your backfire. feelings. Because they do not care. And that's uh, and uh, and that's the crux of it. Women do not care about how you feel. <laughs> They don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're literally no, telling somebody. I mean, it's unfair to really say that. Like we no, do care. No, you do not. We and do that's care. A fact. That's a fact. And many men can attest to this that women do not care. And in actual fact, they they generally use your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses against, against you in you. heated moments. I mean, that's generally. true. That's true. So that's another thing that will tell you that women just do not care. So again, she was so dismissive of what he actually wants. Like, yeah. Women, women generally say what they want. They want mm. six foot. They want provider. They want millionaire. They want this, that, this. They want, they, they want a lot in a man, yes. right? And men generally will comply and say, okay, I know what you want. Cool. Let me go and get that. Let mm. me go and be that person. Yeah. Let me go and try be that person. Yeah. For you. As soon as a man says what they want, they will always come up with excuses. Excuses. No, That's you actually true. don't want this. You want you want to yeah. manipulate. No, you want to control. Yeah. Uh, like it's it's. But like, stupid. do you guys also understand that like, what what both parties don't understand is delivery all the time. Like sometimes the way you guys also say stuff of what you want, like is not in a nice manner. You know what I'm saying? It's very that's, straightforward. So that's how we also feel. That we feel like we're just being straightforward about what we want. And like, we know that. And then we like, cool. We don't. We don't cast like you guys. When, when, whenever, whenever women say they want a specific, a specific type of guy, we understand what you want, and we try and generally yes. be those people. It's like, it's like, it's like women saying that. No, I want, I want somebody who's a millionaire because I. I, I want to provide her mm. and I want somebody who's gonna provide for the family. Yeah. And then the guy will be like, No, you don't actually want that. You 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 a gold digger. You just wanna live a certain <laughs> lifestyle. You wanna eat my money, yeah. you know? That's what it sounds like. Yeah. When 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 a guy brings up something that and then mm, that he wants and then we shame you guys for yes. wanting that. And it's like that's true. And it's and it's very simple. I, a guy Johnny says when he when he says he wants. But peace. I feel like I feel like maybe women sometimes women just don't we don't like being uncomfortable. Yes, you and don't. You guys make us feel. And then men, of, uh, men, 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 men try to avoid that by any means, and then it becomes an issue when 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 somebody doesn't want to talk about certain things yeah. because we know that okay, this is an uncomfortable conversation, yes. and it's gonna lead somewhere. So yeah. let's, let's just rather it's not just have avoid it. it. A great, great point that you brought up there. Like, also what I what I hate like with like, um were like these women that always say these things like oh women almost like shaming women that's that 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 know how to handle marriages or their relationships mm. into things like oh you you weak or you whatever it's wrong like in if, if there was any weak person between us it's probably like it's you, you. It's because you. your marriage is Yes. Fair. You like life is not always just about your emotions or what you want all the time. Like a relationship or a marriage is something bigger than yourself. And you have to understand that you have to put I'm not saying that you always have to put aside your emotions or like how you're feeling, but like everything's not about that like all the time. And these kind of women always want to make it like about that all the time. And like just like what, what I was saying in the beginning, it's like if you know how to communicate you won't have these problems like you won't have these issues mm -hmm. with you with your partner so the guy said he wants peace when yeah. guys generally say that they generally say that they they want to get home yeah and they don't want confrontation yes that's that's like a person who's just ready always to fight but so women not, women women mm -hmm. do not understand how 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 nagging they become yes in certain situations especially mm -hmm. once they get comfortable and in 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 being a nagging yeah. person yeah they nag it doesn't stop all the time uh, they they generally nag to the point where it's like you don't even realize you're nagging right yes. now but you are nagging me absolutely i just want to get home relax like there's nothing that's enjoy, not a problem enjoy for my you. space absolutely. every time i get home there's something you're complaining about absolutely there's always something that's a problem in the absolutely house. and men generally do not like being in situations yeah. like that and when women and when men just voice that out to say listen mm. i 
I don't want confrontation all yes, the time. All the time. These masculine women will do that because they mm. feel like they they like she says she needs to challenge you. Yes. And men don't want to be challenged all the time. I feel like they also don't understand that properly like when you when you'll say we don't want to be challenged like that it's almost like you are say you, it's almost like for them it's like a mental you know mm. challenge of intelligence or whatever oh. but it's not it's like i don't want to feel tackled all the time i don't want to be get fighting it. yes time. every single time i walk into my house i don't want that and me myself i'm a woman and i don't want that and there's no way i can i can impose that onto somebody else and the and the, and the main problem with this is that women do not women do not know when to yeah and not to exactly. challenge so generally the women that challenge will generally challenge all the time yes and the women that don't challenge will not, will not challenge, challenge all at the all time. Yeah. yes so that's why men will just prefer the woman that doesn't challenge yeah at all, then somebody who challenges yes, all the time all the time that's why yebo baba is mm. more respected and mm. more valued amongst yes. men than these masculine women that yeah. challenge you all the time all the time because there's no peace so i'd rather have somebody who won't challenge yeah. me at all than somebody than somebody who will all the time and if because a, women cannot be like okay today i don't need to i, I don't, don't need, need to, to complain to. about mm-hmm. this let me just relax mm. we'll talk about this another time mm-hmm. they don't have that it's, it's either it's either i accept everything wrong yeah or i challenge them all the time yes. there's no in between mm. so there's one one more thing i want to touch on is that most of the time when we talk about Ubegazela and uh, tolerating in a relationship mm. we're usually talking about women who yeah. tolerate and Malbec is like in a relationship. Yeah. Most of the time when you hear that, like, most yeah. of the time. Mm. But people don't, people, that's why I say people don't care about men's feelings. But men, because but men, 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 well, like, some men, some men, some men stay in miserable your, marriages your, for years. For years. Like, for years. But he's staying in the marriage because we are bigger. Like, mm-hmm. he understands that this is his family yes. and he'd rather keep his family Absolutely. together. Absolutely. Now that women are being told that you must leave at your earliest inconvenience in yes. a marriage and you know, all stuff like that men men are not getting the same appreciation yeah, for, absolutely, for bigger for bigger because there's a lot of men who are in horrible yes. marriages oh that's true i saw a tweet i saw a tweet uh, a few days ago where this guy mm. literally left his marriage mm. because his wife was withholding sex from him for like two years like Come straight on. if 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 Come he didn't on. do what his wife wanted yes. or if his wife wasn't happy and he, he was wouldn't. gonna be the bad guy yeah. at the end of the day and they were still like blaming him for the yes. failure of the marriage and stuff like that but if it if the shoes were reversed yes they'll be yes girl yeah that's woman i feel power. like we actually shame men more for leaving marriages than we do women yes and especially like, now yeah. yeah with women we celebrate it we even make parties and stuff for it so if you if you if you hear if you hear a woman say that she should be submissive under under certain conditions just know she's a bad yeah just know she's a bad woman yeah she's not a good woman yeah she's not you should not it's 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 the same thing as hearing a man saying i'm only gonna provide for you under certain conditions yeah it's the same thing absolutely those are bad people and yeah if you take advice from somebody who has proven to not be desirable by their baby daddies and in marriage are they wrong all the time like let's be honest are they wrong you You really deserve what you get and And i feel like these are just coping stuff that you know just tell yourself like i'm i'm too much of a woman you can't handle me as soon as you do some introspection baby girl there's something wrong there's something wrong as soon as you hear that mm, as soon as you hear a woman say that men i'm too much for men no 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 no. bad person no no no, stay away not good for you Mm -mm. so terrible advice men don't don't tell women what you want they don't care just be the best man that you can be and the person that's gonna like you for that is gonna like you for that regardless anyway you guys let us know what you think about this whole situation yeah let us know Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.